I don't know if you've noticed, but today isn't Monday. We're going to be playing some video games, like this one. Yay, video games. Ooh. Yes, hello, welcome back to another episode of Furbland forgets to do a running series and then compensates with it. Um, doing it. Oh god, I had a stroke. Welcome back to another episode of Furbland forgets to do a running series and then compensates by doing it the next day. Technically, it's like 12 o'clock. It's like 12, it's, it's midnight, so it's like, it's not actually the next day, it's the day after the next day. It's Wednesday, technically, but it, like, it just, it just became Wednesday, so it's, like, still half Tuesday, right? So that works. We're gonna be playing R-Craft. Looks quality. And indeed it is. That may have been a lie. When you spawn in, you generate, oh, it appears to have frozen. That's weird. It's never done this before. It's almost like this game is really poorly made or something. Come on. Why is it being weird? Okay, as I was saying, this is the wonderful world of our craft. Filled with flowers that do not break when you place blocks on top of them, so you have to clear them out manually. Um, also, the clouds are blocked. We'll get to that later. We got lots of very cool blocks. This uh, SD card button, which saves. This button, which toggles between airplane mode, in which you are an airplane. Some way to go down. I've forgotten how. Maybe there isn't. Maybe there isn't a way to go down. Maybe I'm just going insane. I think I may be just going insane. Um, yeah, you can fly around. You can see and experience the fog if you go down. Um, oh, yeah, the game also lets you break your neck. That's another cool feature. Starting to do backwards, too. Quality, uh, quality video games. You can hit this little minus button here to move blocks. Uh, and if you go deep enough... Oh yeah, did I mention the uh, walking system is based on which direction you're looking and not which way your character is facing? Oh, I didn't... I was hoping... Not the best way to burrow into one of these. Yeah, I don't know why it does this. But you've got these, like, strange dirt chunks. And the strangest bit is, is that they just keep going. And they will continue to go until your game crashes. So let's not do that. Let's go all the way back up. Whilst looking in odd directions that our body should not be able to look in. Gotta just 
keeps going. It's almost like I broke a bunch of these or something. La 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 la. <laughs> Any day now. You can make this one of those like infinite screensavers out here, guys. I'm just gonna dig a hole in the ground, even though there was another conveniently placed hole right next to the hole that I was coming out of. But let's restart the world. Oh, you gotta restart the app to restart the world. Let's not restart the world then, I guess. Uh, so now onto the clouds. The clouds are a bit odd. I don't think the clouds are even randomly generated. I think they're just like static structures. Um, and then off in ye old distance, uh, somewhere we have these sort of structures. Ah, here we go. Oh. It's frozen again. It doesn't do this normally. I don't know why, but it, it's just really enjoying killing it. It doesn't like being on camera, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I already demonstrated how the cloud blocks work in an older video of mine where I told you how to make very cool secret rooms that were very cool and secret and also rooms. It's in one of these directions. I'm gonna go with this direction. It's not this direction. Let's go this way. I don't think it's this, oh, no, wait, here it is. You had like a limited amount of time before the app dies. So yeah, we got this strange pumpkin, pumpkin type structure dealio uh, with, with pumpkins. Our craft is very prone to crashing. I don't know why. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna break through this, this R-Craft heritage landmark. Um, oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's what the cubes are for. Probably not, but that's what I like to assume they're for. They're secret rooms built in, hard-coded into the game so that the developer can hide secret things in them, like this. And also that. And maybe one of these of those, and one of that. Other than that, uh, there's not really anything. You get a secret, uh, room, which isn't really all that secret, because you get a whole pre bro well, I suppose you, just the other side of the building. Oh, low battery, says my very convenient notification. I don't care if I've got 5% remaining, I'm gonna make an MCR Mondays video and you can't stop me. What is going on? You can't, I'm not walking in the right directions. Just gonna get rid of this one as well. There you go. Go to this place. That's quite the house. Uh, this is just weird stadium ring type dealio. I don't think there's anything in here. I was correct. Furbland is right once again. It's an Arcraft master. Oh, I accidentally broke that, so I might as well go in that way. You don't mind me just invading your house, right? Um, this is this is pretty much the same. I there are, in fact, long convoluted pathways in here that allow you to get back down. I don't know why it's a maze. I don't know why it's a you have to complete a maze to get back down to the the first floor, um, or the ground floor, or the the whatever floor. Floor, floor, car. Okay, how do I get out of this thing now? Okay, um, and also this. Oh, I could have just taken these. Uh, just dingus. And that would have put me in. I was gonna say almost another maze because that looks like it was gonna turn out that way. Back to the pumpkin building. I believe we have more pumpkin-related artifacts. I'm pretty sure the person who runs our craft just built this and then just did not 
they just saved the world with these structures in it, and so that's just the default world. Because this world, a good portion of this world is pre-generated, I believe. So these structures are always in the same place. It's not a random spawn. They don't spawn naturally. You're not going to find them anywhere else. They're just weird structures. Perhaps there are more structures hidden throughout the world of Warcraft. I've done a bit of exploring, and I haven't been able to find anything except for more flowers. How many layers deep are we? Apparently, um, none of them. None of the layers. It's incredibly difficult to move while looking straight up because... Because F, apparently, according to that cloud. Um, because I was gonna say, yeah, the, the, the movement is janky. I don't even remember where spawn is. I didn't, like, denote it. Well, guess I'm stuck here for the rest of my life. Well, that happens, let's have a look at some blocks. You can click this grass block icon, and it actually does nothing. All it does is show the current block you've got equipped. You've got a little hotbar down here with blocks that you can equip, and then you've got also an inventory full of various blocks that are also equipable with such highlights as diamond block, but dyed green, double slab, the bottom of TNT, and stinking Zuma block. You know Zuma, right? The game with the... You got, you got like, the little frog. You gotta shoot the, the balls. You know Zuma. Yeah, if you don't hit the SD card button, the game won't save, so... That's good, because I probably want to have a clean slate, and there's no way to do that without... Fully <laughs> uninstalling and reinstalling the game, which I don't want to do, because it's not available on the App Store anymore, if I recall correctly. Or no, it is not available on the App Store. If you want to get Rcraft... You can find it on the iOS App Store. If you, for some deranged reason, want to get Rcraft, you can find it on the iOS App Store. I suppose that's about it for this episode of MCR Mondays. I should probably go plug in my iPad. I'll see you, I'll see you in the next um, episode of MCR Mondays.